People who are already involved in or interested in design, uh, I would encourage them to, whether it's sign painting or any other aspect of design, is to get involved with the hands-on process. A traditional sign maker uses processes that have been around for hundreds of years. In our case, we typically sketch out our signs from concept to a final completion. Sometimes we incorporate the computer to create the finished file. And then the work is all hand rendered with brush. We use uh, other methods like gold leafing. Uh, we do a lot of gold leafing on glass. The most fascinating thing about sign painting is the fact that you can never learn it all. Every time you start going in a new direction and you start learning a new aspect of the craft, it opens up a whole new can of worms that is uh, really, really challenging. There are a lot of aspects of it that are related to muscle memory with brush strokes and brush work, and those things have to be repeated over and over and over. It, it's always elusive, you can never really master any of it because it's just so complex and uh, I find that really really an exciting aspect of what we do is that you can never really fully learn any of it. Most people that have an interest in coming into it and learning the craft and keeping it alive, their best bet would be to approach an existing traditional sign painter and you know, asking to apprentice under them to get that training. The best attitude for anybody who wants to learn is to just accept they're in for the long haul. It's always challenging, you're always learning, but that's the, the other aspect to it too, is if you don't have the appetite to learn, it's not gonna stick. If you're the type of person that's going to, you know, become obsessed enough with it that you're going to look through old books when you have downtime or you're going to be looking when you're watching an old movie to say, oh, check that out, then, you know, there's a decent chance you'll stick with it. A new development in, in the trade is the acceptance that we're getting into the art world. Years that have been put into the development of sign making as an art form from the turn of the century to see that finally being accepted by the art communities is very exciting. The process of gold leafing is, is very broad. There's a wide varieties to apply leaf to different surfaces. When we are applying leaf to glass for reverse glass gilding, um, we use a, a method uh, known as Chicago gilding. Different regions around the United States developed different techniques for gilding. The Chicago guild method that we use provides more of that vintage look uh, right out of the gate. So uh, our, our leaf ends up on glass having more texture to the look than a, a water guild. A water guild gives you more of a mirrored finish. Our method uses, um, uh, provides more of a textured finish that, that gives it a vintage feel. The other styles that, that were in use mostly around the turn of the century in different parts of the country, they are all beautiful and, and provide their own you know, look and feel. 
for us, we developed the method that we're using um, in San Francisco because the, the clientele that we had there was always asking for something that had an old vintage feel to it. very personal, it's very hands-on. Um, it's not just click a button and computer made it, you know. It's the same thing with tattooing, we can't just click a button. We, we work for hours and hours what we do. And they do the exact same thing. Um, it's a lot of handcrafting in it, you know, a lot of tradition that goes down with it, you know, same with tattooing. It's very similar, it's all based on stuff from the early, you know, 50s and 40s that looks awesome. hand-painted signs have a life of their own. There's just something special about a lost art, you know, or a dying art. The last thing we need in this world is, is for something else, you know, beautiful like that to go away. I'd like to see it become what it once was. I know that'll never happen, you know, because we do live in a world of, you know, I need it now, I need it five minutes ago, you know, make it quick, make it the same. We live in that world, so it'll never be the way it used to be. But, you know, as long as it stays around, I mean, that's groovy to me. It's important that we keep all of the crafts around because that's, that's the heart and soul of every community is, you know, the, the artisans and the craftspeople that are working is what gives it its identity.